Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing kind of like a what's for breakfast video, or actually you could have this for dinner as well. In today's video, I'm gonna be making a bacon, egg, and cheese hash brown waffle sandwich. That is a mouthful. This is so easy to make and it's so good. I'm gonna be using my Dash mini waffle maker for this one. So come along and I'll show you how easy this is to make. All right, so as you can see, I have my mini Dash waffle maker. If you don't have one of these, I think you can pick these up on Amazon for maybe around $10. I'll put a link down in the description box below. So I have that heating up. So the ingredients for this, for the actual waffles, this is gonna make two waffles. Basically what I'm gonna do is take the hash waffles and make them into a sandwich. So each hash waffle will kind of be the breading on the top and bottom. I then have an egg that I'm scrambling up and I'm gonna be putting two pieces of bacon on it. The bacon that I use is the Aldi center cut bacon. This kind, you can have two slices for one point. So definitely make sure to account for the points and calories on this based on what you're using. For the hash browns, I'm using the Seasons Choice, which are the Aldi hash browns. I have about three ounces of those. I think the great value kind is also the same amount of points. So three ounces of the hash browns. I have 14 grams of reduced fat cheddar cheese and then the egg. That is what's gonna go in the waffles. And then on the side, I have my scrambled egg which is just one egg, and then I'll have my two pieces of bacon. The total points on this for the entire thing, for both hash waffles, the egg and the bacon, is going to be eight points on green, two points on purple, and four points on blue. So all we're going to do is just mix the hash browns, the egg, and the cheese. In the meantime, I'm gonna get my eggs scrambling over on the stove, and I'm just cooking my bacon in the microwave for today, but you can definitely make your bacon however you want. So just take a fork and mix that all together. These are frozen hash browns. I've had them, been, I've had them sitting out for maybe about 15 minutes, just so that they're not completely frozen. And if you wanna add a little bit of salt and pepper, And then just make sure to get it all mixed up real well until all the hash brown pieces are completely coated with the egg. All right, once the waffle maker is heated through, now we're gonna spray it generously with some cooking spray and then put half of the mixture on there. and then just push it down there. You wanna be very careful if you're using a fork or something, just don't let it scratch that surface. And just spread it out evenly and close the top. And then we'll just let that cook for a couple minutes. Okay, so just keep an eye on these, and depending how you like them, if you're just having the hash browns by themselves, then you can take them off anytime you want. Because I'm gonna be using these as like a sandwich, as the breading for the sandwich, I want mine to be a little bit more brown than that. All right, once that is done, so as you can see, I kinda like it like that, where it's real kinda crispy, so it'll be used good for the sandwich. So now we're gonna spray it again and put the other half on there. So while the second one is cooking, and as you can see, I have a little bit too much on there. It's kinda going over the top, but that's okay. So now I'm just gonna put my egg over the top of one of the waffles. and my two slices of bacon.
So if you want to put some hot sauce or however you like your eggs, you can do this so many different ways. So now I'm just going to cover that and wait for the other waffle to get done. All right, so now once that's done, just open it up and then just carefully take that top off of there and just set it right on top. And that is what it looks like. Now these are a little bit uneven as you can see the top one is a little bit better formed than the bottom so that's just because I had more on the top but these are really good definitely definitely let me know if you try these and if you like them so I hope you all like this video if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up thank you all so much for watching I'll see you in my next video I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy You're perfect as you are.